my grandma always tells people I'm boggle. Boggle means crazy loony, yeah. And I, <laughs> I don't like that. I'm not boggle. I'm not a loony person. Although I'll call myself crazy and stuff. I'm, I'm not, you know, I'm the crazy one kind of thing. But really, it's not a negative derogatory thing, really. It's just an, it's another illness like arthritis, having a broken leg. Mm. But it's a scary illness. You can't see it and you can't understand it. The statistics show one in four have some kind of mental illness, but I think it's moved on to one in three at the moment because society with the recession, with other issues, factors coming in, I think that goalpost has been moved on. So there is a lot of work to be done out there. So we established a service which we called Women First because we thought women tend to put themselves last. A lot of us have suffered from different types of mental illness like anxiety and depression. And we realised that although some of us have taken medication, it wasn't really the medication that helped, it was the alternative therapies, which we really think the NHS should provide. But we have used things like yoga, meditation, um, homeopathic rem remedies, and it's all about improving a person's mind, body and soul. And I really feel that, you know, if we had a preventative scheme, the NHS would be saving a lot of money on, on those tablets that they keep prescribing. There needs to be more support and stuff to help them feel happy, you know, because you can get some really, really down-to-earth people that seem really happy, but aren't happy really, and they don't mm. want to say it all. There should be like a number for it, you know, if you want to speak to someone, if you're, not, if you're down and stuff. You Just know. to get all your moans out. Yeah. If you're happy and content, then you're going to feel better, mm. which you're going to get up yeah. and move about and you're not just going to sit and wallow. Yeah. So I do think that a lot of stuff has, comes down to not having nothing to do. And a lot of women that I know of are suffering from depression, but um, they, they can't afford, so to speak, to, to sit down to take it, you know, a, a, a seat back and, and to let a, a, some other people take charge. So they, it's their responsibility. They have to look after the children. They have to look after the house. They have to look after the families. So they can't afford to even say, I'm not feeling well, I'm not, I need help. Stop the world. I'm gonna I get want up. to get <laughs> off. <laughs> Slow it down. But things are moving that fast for leisure and pleasure. And kids want to keep up to it. It, it just snowballs effect. There's people out there creating stuff to make life better and faster. And that's how I want, I want society, you know. But if we could just slow it down a little bit and put the brakes on and say, look, we've got enough, let's just enjoy what we've got instead of trying to reach that bit further. They think about things which they haven't got rather than things they have. And, you know, there's a famous Indian saying, proverb saying, I was complaining I had no shoes until I saw a man with no feet. When I was eight or nine years old, I had fasted. And I was very thirsty and everything. But all my family members said, no, no, you are a good boy. And after fasting time, when finished, they gave me fruit and everything, and I enjoyed So I remember my first day, how it was hard and everything, and how I enjoyed it. And from there on, every year I do fasting, and it is no problem. And I have met many people who regularly fast. So it purifies our mind and body and willpower and everything. The mind is a very strong tool, and we can all heal ourselves. We all have the ability to heal ourselves. And this is very airy, very talk. Some of my friends that talk, I talk to about, they don't really get it. They just think it's a, it's a medical model they follow and it's you have this problem, you take medication and it's, it's, it's sorted. But I believe there's something underlying that you need to cure.